you into Pyro Doing. We're doing today a boss theme tier list, which you can actually play along with. You have a link in the description and in the top comment. And you can click on the link and you're gonna be here. And here you see like all the songs we're gonna be ranking today. And while the video is going, or the stream if you're watching it live, you have here the songs, you know which song, you can click on the right image, which would be that one down here. And then you can click on the vote here and select where you want to put them. Once clicked on it, you cannot revert it, it's voted then. And so we're gonna craft one tier list all together and at the end of the stream and the video, by the way, this is still going hopefully when the video is going live, we have like one big tier list that I will post on Twitter with like what the Arkansas community thinks are the best boss theme, tier, uh, boss theme songs. And I think it's just kind of fun to do that. But the first song we're gonna listen to is the Frost Nova song in Chapter 4. Freaking boss themes in the early Arknights were not that good in my opinion. This is already better. This is already okay. Um, it's not amazing, it doesn't have like an insane vibe like the later songs. But this is for me already like sounding pretty, pretty epic, you know. It is like a good feel. You, you hear it, it's like still when like the game was very early out but i wouldn't say this is completely boring it had a rough start but this sounds fire in a vacuum i think it's generally good yes i think it's like a perfect midline i think that's enough of this next is the mephisto one it's called Langman bad boss in my opinion this is boring this would honestly be for me right now as it is see a uh, verse here i'm not i'm not vibing with this at all I'm sorry, but this doesn't do it for me. Like, it has no soul in it. Yeah, it doesn't tell a story. Not for me. This, I'd say, is a uh, verse tier. I like how we agree. Next is Frost Nova main theme. Page 6.4 in the future. And this I remember. This was the first time when I listened to an Arknight song. Or like to the OST when I was playing a stage. And I was like, wait, this is actually sick. On how it sounds. Also, we rate it as a boss theme, and not like as like um, if we, if this is a song that we would listen in a car, right? It's about like how cool it, it is as a boss theme, how well it's done. But like you have this, right? You have Frost Nova appearing on the stage. This um, like this build up right here is so cool, and it just gives you the feeling of you're fighting someone that is whipping your ass that you have to be scared of. And I like this vibe. I think this vibe is so good. This is the song that matches so well for a boss appearing on a stage. And that is why, for me, Frost Nova boss theme goes into a clear S. Absolutely fire song. It's hard to make better boss theme than this. Patriot. Patriot is 10 out of 10. I disagree. Patriot is for me an A. Right, oh, right now it is for me an A. Compare this... Right, like back to back, like from Frost Nova to this, doesn't this like this does not sound as epic as a Frost Nova theme? This part is cool. This is an S part level. This one is just epic with not enough soul in my opinion, and that is why for me this goes into a clear A. But also, everyone agrees. We have four people voting A. You guys seem to be agreeing with me. That's good. Next song. Is a lullaby. Oh, this is a tough one. I love this not... I mean, it is epic in an other way than like the other songs were. It's like that calm epic and I think that's cool. When you're in a boss fight and you hear this... This is like just a different kind of epic. And especially this part. It just slaps in a way that usual boss themes don't slap. Going with a Russian lullaby is something so creative. That just for this reason alone, it just gives, gives me both bonus points. This is for me a clear A. Next song, it's the Talula Ost. Like, I never I never felt this one. I remember everyone was like saying, oh, how epic the freaking Talula song is. And I'm like, this is just like hovering for me in B. This doesn't, this doesn't feel epic to me. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't make me hyped for the boss battle. Compared to what Patriot had and, uh, yeah. Like, I think Patriot and the Lullaby are so much more epic. So this is from the Mandragora fight, if I'm not wrong. Angry Cat theme got to F tier. I don't know, this song so far, I don't dislike it that much. But this... You cannot say this is not epic. 
This is so much better than any part in the Talula song. So, we have the right thing here. This is for Mia B. Same good as uh, Talula. Next, we have Chapter 10 boss theme. I, re I think this one I also really like. I love that. That part of the violin fucking slaps. Oh, this... I don't know if you hear this on, on Twitch. The back on the left ear. The, the, I don't know what this is, if that's a guitar or something. That slaps. It, why is it not louder? Like, do you hear the back sound? I like that. Three people said it's gonna be a B. For me personally, I'd say it is an A. Four said now B. I'm gonna be the a -er. Now we're going to a part where we reach S territory. This song, this song is so good. This song is so good. It's one of my favorite songs. This is a freaking textbook boss song. Last stream night is peak fiction. This is this boss theme. Dude, this is this is so far above S. This is so far above S. If we were to make a normal series, I would add now a new tier because this is so much above. The Frost number one. This is so good. Every single part. It goes straight into action. Even the build up is so fire. That just is a fucking amazing song. Like, how can you not vibe to this? Like, this is so far above the freaking Frost number song in S. It's so above and beyond, man. I think we listened enough, it hurts, but I have to say we have listened enough, we already know it's so good. Uh, fucking love that song. This is chapter 12. Against that random girl that can split herself up. It's not a bad, like, it's not a bad theme. I love the, the sound of it, but it feels like it doesn't tell a story. It's just epic noise without a soul. That's what this this theme, this theme gives me. Listen, like this is fire. It just like it is a it would be a high A if the freaking build up and the main theme would make sense together. Since it doesn't, it's now a low A, but uh, it's still an A in my opinion. Next we have chapter 13 boss. I do remember that I really li vibe to this song. I I didn't like the boss that much, but I was vibing to the song a lot. Like really quiet, you know what? You're you're, you're playing the stage, right? The boss hasn't the boss hasn't appeared yet. You're gonna be chilling and like uh, yeah, cool. And then the boss appears, and you're like, oh, what the fuck is he? What is he doing there? So this is already great build up. Oh no, this is so good. This is so good. It's a high A or low S. For me personally, it's a low S. It's like on the same level as Frost Nova. Uh, next we have the Sluggy, the first event boss. This was the first boss theme that we had in an event. Bob, Big Adam and Big Bob didn't have one. So Pompey it is. Oh, it's epic. You know what? It's not bad. It's, it's a good, simple boss theme. I would say it's more like the boring side, but like, it's still okay. I, I'd say this is a very good C. It has a B, a B level main theme, but for the most part, it's just m on the boring side. Next is the red bitch or king, whatever you call it. Already, uh, already vibing with it, man. You know, this is much better. This is like this is much better. This is like hype throughout the song already, but it's like epic or like it's, it's not a crazy amazing melody. But it's just like, it's just hype throughout the entire song. It's not gonna be like, now it's hype and then it's boring for the next 30 seconds or something. It's just hype. I need more tears for a buff, to be honest. This would be, I don't think it's as good as those, but it's 100% much better than the ones in B. The next one is the Dark Knight's Memoir. And this is, I don't know if it is a boss theme. It might not be a boss theme. It is the theme that popped up when I looked for the events theme. For like the final theme, right? And there wasn't really a boss on the stage. So it is not a boss theme. But uh, it, it it sounds like a fucking boss theme. But I think it was a theme for the Annihilation or whatever. It's Snoopsy that I have in. We're still gonna listen to it because that song is so fire. <laughs> like this is already much better as a boss theme than many of the ones we've heard. It's a fucking good theme. 
like, I'd say it's a solid B. God of Olympia, this is Mud Mudrock had a crazy good theme, but I don't know if it's, if that's the one I know. Well, Trial of Olympia was an amazing event. It still holds up today, it's, it aged like fine wine. Super cool design. Uh, it's really, it was the first event that like, made me like, oh wow, Arkans is a good design. Like, sta like how the stages around looked, it, sh it really made me like, say, wow, w wow. I think same part. So, easy A. Like, this is epic, you hear this part, and you're like, yeah, probably you can see an A. So, this is the Gabriel the Great Chief reruns, Iron Guy. At the moment, it's a high A. I feel like, I feel that guitar a lot. I, I don't know, I feel the guitar a lot. It's also continuously epic, really important. People are really spread on this one. I'd say A. Yeah, I think Big Ugly Thing is an A. This is IS-1. I like this. It's a different kind of boss theme. It's quite a big difference to what we have listened in the last ones. Feels like a lobby theme or whatever. I agree 100% with you. For that reason, it kind of feels like I can see it with a boss, but it's not working that well for me. Uh, it's like a perfect B tier. It just can't, uh, for me, I can't really decide if it's like good or bad boss theme. Maria and Neural. So far epic. So far really epic, I'm vibing to this. It's like a build-up boss hasn't spawned yet, maybe. And it's like still like you don't know what you expect. It's a good theme as a boss theme. But it's just an average boss theme. It's neither good nor bad. I like the unique Viking style they went for. But they didn't build, they didn't build up on it. It's just the Viking style throughout the entire song. And I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's just not doing it for me. I, I, I don't know. There is a build up to, but there's a build up to nothing. This sounds good. It's it's a good B. In my opinion, it's a good B. Yeah, it, it's just the same throughout. Not vibing with it. I'm sorry. I, I tried to vibe with it. I, I didn't. Man's Field is next with our Mummy Zami Saria, which we are all liking and would like to all be stepped by, on by her. Same things I said about the Viking song we just heard goes for this one as well. It's a good it, epic. There's a lot of epic sounds going on. It's a very good average boss theme, but it's not above the average. It's like you hear this boss theme, you hear it once, and you're like, "Oh, that's cool," and you never listen to it again. What is this as a B? Next is who is real? This I vibe with at the moment. If it's like the calm before the storm, right? This is so hype. I like the song as a song, but not as a boss theme. And we said I'm gonna judge on the song as a boss theme or not as if I like the song or not. Like I like, I actually like having a boss stage with like a song like this. But I, it doesn't match the dragon, right? It's the dragon boss. It's such a good song. It's, if we would rank the quality of the song, it's so A or freaking S tier. It's such a good song. But this part is so epic. I still give it a C. I give it a C. Put to D. I'm not gonna put it to D. Now, now. I know. It's a C. It had some aspects that I really vibed with. Next is the Rainbow Six Siege event. About Rainbow Six Siege song right now. This feels like a freaking D tier. I don't like this one. At the moment, this feels not just not epic, but also boring. Like, if I would have this song in my playlist and I would hear it, or if I would hear this song in battle, I wouldn't be hyped. No, this is so bad. I tried to give it a chance. Really not that good. A walk in the dust. Already good start. Not not S tier start, start but an A, st A, A tier start in my opinion. No, it's a, no, it's not. It's a B, I can see B tier more, yeah. Like thinking how bad C and D tier are, it still gives me like a good boss theme vibe. Yeah. I am just not feeling it. It's on the same level as Talula, I'd say. It's like, it has epic noises, but it's not, not, not really vibing. B is a fair judgment. Oh, Abyssal Hunters. I hate the Abyssal Hunter themes. They're just not mine. Golden Age also not, not feeling it, besides like when they scream Golden Age. I like this part, but I, I really, I don't know. At the moment, it's, it's a C for me. I tried to love it. I tried, I don't, it is a C. 
I was never a fan of the Abyssal uh, soundtracks. I don't know. They, I never felt that. Come on, I should have just voted. Now I'm standing for a question. That part is S level. I 100% agree. I think I have to give it a B. Like it's, it's a C if uh, for the most part it has an S A to qualities for the best parts. I think a B is uh, what I, what I can see the most. The Soulless Holiday. How much better or worse is this? Could be a C. It, it is... It is not really giving me a boss vibe. That's the thing, it's like, for me, more like a normal stage music with like strong enemies on it rather than a boss on it. And that is why... It's not a bad song. Fails as a boss theme. Uh, we are gonna go with um, a C. Next is the Neural Lights event. Honestly, I, I really like that part so far. That's really epic. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, this is an A. How are you like saying B, C and stuff? This is... I, I listen to this and that sounds like a straight up A. What was that? It had a weird part in it, but like, it's still like, this is fire. What the fuck do you mean, C, B? I don't know, I'm vibing. I'm vibing with this. This is epic. We have two S's. We have four A's. Like me saying A is not of the world, you know? Break the ice, boss. Break the ice with an epic silver ash and a girl in a flaming house. Surprisingly, not playing chess. At the moment here, I, here I would say I would fail. I, I fail to hear the, the boss theme. It is not bad, but I would say it's very average. It's a, it's a B tier for me. We have seven B tiers on this song. We seem to agree on this a lot. IS2, the Phantom theme. My, probably one of my most disliked boss stages in the entire game. I don't need a boss if an 100% dodge, dude. That's not fun, that's pain. And I know some of you are masochists and love pain, but I'm... At least for that boss, no, I'm not. It matches the fend. Okay. It fails to be a boss theme, but I can't believe how well this matches Phantom. I don't know if I like this. It's not a boss theme, but it matches so well to the stage. This is a boss theme. That part is. You want Phantom on the stage, right? I think you cannot produce a song better match for Phantom. It's maybe not the greatest boss theme, but as like a stage where Phantom is the boss, it's very hard to have a better matching song than this. I, I, I'm honestly gonna go A. I can see it. This is something like, it would be between A and B in my opinion. Uh, this is the IS2 secret boss. Let's see if it had one more chance, I'm gonna skip. Wait a second. Is it coming? What is this? This feels so random. It feels like an AI made this. Yeah, too random for me. Ain't, ain't, ain't feeling this. I like a direction in the song. It doesn't have a direction. Therefore, for me, I'm gonna go for C. No, no, I'm actually gonna go for D. Rhythm and literature. I've heard people love this song. People love this one. I don't know this. It's my first impression of it. Oh, I do. I, I know this one. I do know this one, this part. I haven't played this boss stage, that's the thing. It's very hard for me to judge it if I can't imagine like how the boss stage was designed. A little bit short there. But that ending part was fucking epic. I have to give it an A. Like, it was not continuously epic, but it built up the epicness to a final. Which I'd say they did super well. Uh, A. So, invitation! To alcohol! How good is this one? I love this I love this art, especially. I'm liking it. It's kinda missing the continuous epicness. But I think that the vibe it gives of general like makes it away. It's not really epic what you feel most of the time, but it feels like you're fighting something big, and that's cool. Like this epicness of like you're fighting something monstrosal. You're fighting something that is bigger than anything you have seen before. It's so it's also it feels also mystical a bit. 
It costs like the quite parts, the middle parts, right? I feel like it gives you like the mystical vibe. They're not continuously epic, but it's like they give you like, oh yeah, you're fighting something that is a, not a unicorn, but something else. It's an A. Next is Guiding a Heart. Oh, this, this might be for many in S tier. I think for me it might also be an S tier. Like it has to build up, right? The boss spawns and you're like, oh wait, what? You start attacking him. You're like, oh fuck that, he has no HP. He drops his shield. Now he starts dodging everything. I'm like, fuck me! That's what I imagine here. The thing is, like, with this part I don't like that much, but I know what comes after and it makes it just work. This here. This, those drops. And the heartbeat there. It's just, it's just such a vibe. Chapter 11 theme is best so far. But this is definitely an S. It's time. People evaded it. People wanted it. It's time to bring it back. It's time what people have been asking for. The Golden Age may return. This song made to see if quit Arknights. Yes, it did. It's not this song. It was the stages and the entire event. I needed to take an eight month break from Arknights because I just realized Arknights didn't make fun to me anymore. But it was mainly just this event. Uh, just this event gave me burnout and PTSD. It's like it's the worst thing ever created. I can shit on the freaking desk and it would be better content for me than uh, Slutafer Navis. And let's listen to the entire song. I didn't want to put it into a... But I realized there's a lot of Golden Age going. Golden Age, it's gonna be an A. I didn't want to. I had to. This one. This one. Yes, this song. is Greatness. One of the best boss themes in the game. Because this is probably the best boss theme as a boss theme. Besides the Steam Knight that is the only contender. But this is... Oh, okay. Cross number as well could be. But this is what you imagine when you think of a boss theme. You have this epic soundtrack, epic soundtrack and you know you're facing something colossal. You're facing something that if it wants to kill you, you're already in the grave. And all you can do is defend yourself. All you can do is fight against death. It's very uh, very for that. I don't know, this is for me what a boss theme should be. This is exactly what I imagine and what, what I want when I want a boss theme. As easy as easy as I like that one. Next one, Ideal City. Ideal City is a bit interesting because I don't know if it if it succeeds as a boss theme, but it does succeed as a freaking song. This is not a classic boss theme, but I do get a boss theme vibe because you need to imagine the boss on the stage is not a colossal. It is not a muscular man. You have just a random dude in a freaking cube. That's that's the boss. It's not someone that one should see or whatever. It's just some annoying ass dude in a in a cube flying. It sounds like you're playing an Osu, like a map of Osu or something in a written game. Or like it's the ending of an anime when they have beaten the final boss. So for me, it's an it's an A. Polyark. So of course, which event was this boss? Oh, which event? Which boss was this again? Oh, I like this. Boss hasn't spawned yet, probably. It's the build-up. You see the stage, you know? Oh yeah, it's like this. The Holy Ark picture confused me. Uh, it's it's weird why they have the Holy Ark picture here. It doesn't feel like I'm fighting anything. Uh, like, it's not even a build-up for like, uh, small enemies are coming, you're defeating them. It's just like a track that is playing. I'm not feeling the boss in this. I like the, I like the sound of it. But I'm not feeling the boss in it. I would say, yeah, imagine it's a good robot theme, yeah. I'm, it's a C. It's a C for me. It's not horrible. Next song. Uh, Lone Trail, I believe it is. Lone Trail. Good. So far, uh, it's a D. Easily a D. Everyone writes S. D, honestly, at the moment, it does feel like a C for me. D, D. I'm not, I like the build up now. Okay, it's getting there. That's shifting up and back, uh, up and down is cool. It gives you a space vibe, yes. Gives you a space vibe, I like that. Yeah, I know the count is perfect time when the boss spawns. If you played on one time speed, I was told. I was told, I, I, I've read the comments of this song before. Four, 
if the boss spawns in that moment, which it does, that's epic. That is epic. That is an S. That is such cool melody as well. I agree, I was a little bit harsh on the song in the beginning. That is such a great build-up. The only downside of the song is that it's way too short. Back to back to a really strong one. You guys know I love this song. It's one of my favorite boss themes. Uh, ECS. It's like I, like I I was almost happy that I failed the stages a few times so I could listen to the song. It's just, th this is for me peak. This is one of the peaks. Uh, that's a contender for chapter 11. Oh, this, I just like the drum part, like this part here. Insane. I even sang accidentally when the first time this was here. I, when I played the stage, accidentally I sang li live, you know? I sang along with it. That's how catchy this is. And it gives you a boss vibe, that's the best thing. It does give you a boss vibe. Insanely high. This is so good. It's so fucking good. Easy as. Next is I is free. First boss theme. Carolia Arbor boss or whatever. This I'm not vibing. Is this Jellyf this is so far bad. I give it a hard D at the moment. Unless they pull up something epic, I can see a D. Yeah, it is epic. You know, it had a bit of a rough build-up. But the boss is slow, we notice. I think it's a C. The build-ups are too long for the epic parts. For the most part, it's not epic. It's it's a C for me. Ice 2, the frick on Ice 4 ending to the night that is... I think it becomes unblockable, right? So far, I'm not vibing with this. The knight who always randomly dies before reaching floor 5. Well, I think that's a skill issue. Long ass build up, but it's it's going there. Oh, this is a disappointment of a song. You have a good build up. The build up sounded actually A tier. The rest is freaking D tier. Uh, I yeah, I, I'd say D tier. Next is boss three. I like this. This is this is at the moment A for me because this is the the cool sound that you don't know what you expect. This is a different kind of boss theme. That is epic, but it doesn't have like those epic noises. Oh, it, is, it has epic noises, but just a different style. I like this song a lot. I like this song a lot. But the main part is such a disappointment that I don't know if I should give it A or B. You hate this song? Wait, how do you all hate this song? How do you not like it that much? It's boring. I don't think it's that boring. Uh, the boss doesn't matter, like, uh, we don't care about how good or how cool the boss is. So we, I'm gonna rate this twice. It's the same theme, so uh, I, I did an oopsie there. How is this triple S? It's the same soundtrack. It's the same soundtrack, guys. At least be consistent. How is it? C and D, everyone, like, before. And this is now S triple. Dude. <laughs> Chat, come on. Okay, this is a song I've never ever heard. So I'm excited. I'm not feeling this at the moment. It's pointless. I, I would probably go for B at the moment. I, I honestly think this is a shame I do this. Unless it gets better. I might I might have to listen to everything. Does it get better? Okay, I was saying B. I uh, know I was saying C. This is a B overall. What a great part. What a great fucking part. So, Yemon's Revernal Winds will never blow boss battle theme. I like the vibe because you want to go for like a, a I know, Chugoku vibe. And I think they're really doing a good, uh, good thing there. Chugoku, by the, way, uh, by the way, means China in Japanese. Let's see, would you ban uh, bang Chongus? Uh, it depends. I would rather get banged than bang. So, uh, I don't know. This might be a, a, a B or C tier. I think it's a B tier. Like, there's some boss theme aspects to it, but it's like, it sounds great. It sounds like an A-level song. But boss theme-wise, it's not good enough. B, you also seem to agree with me. Nice. Ratlos! This sounds very average to me. Even a bit boring. It sounds like really a boss theme you would hear in a PlayStation 2 game. The, the reason why this song I think is so bad is like you would hear this and you would have no clue from what game this is. 
a good boss theme you can hear for the first time and you're like, yeah, this sounds like game, like an Arknight sound. This sounds like a boss theme from Kingdom Hearts. For this, this sounds like a Final Fantasy 2 boss fight for any PlayStation 2 game. Uh, that's why I, I, I can really put it into a C without uh, feeling bad on this. So next we have uh, this thing. This was a boss fight in the farming event for the Monster Hunter thing. I'm not feeling this. This is another CRD tier. It's building up, it's building up. I give it a chance. It has a chance to not perform because the build-up is actually pretty good. Okay, never mind. This is a good one. Oh, this is a good part, I mean. It's a high C. Dude, it's getting better. It's tough, I really can't define it. It's a C or a B. You see again. Very fucking spread. But I'd say it is not enough to go to B. It is a C. So next song is the... Fa like the Phantom thing here. Oh, fa fa Phantom. Executor theme. What the fuck is a Phantom? Executor altar. Uh, it, it sounds already nice. That's the kind of boss theme that I like. Because you don't know what to expect. For most bosses, right? You go into it and you know nothing. You don't know what you expect. And I like when the team doesn't immediately give away what kind of boss you're facing. Especially because most of the time the boss hasn't even spawned yet. This is fire. This is fire. This is fucking okay, S tier so far. Textbook start of a boss theme. Please don't fuck it up the melody, please don't. Oh, that drags it down. Boss success doesn't matter. We don't care about the boss. We only care about the music. It's a really low A. It's the lowest of A's, I believe. Good. IS4. Boss theme. Again? We don't know what to expect, right? I like... I said I, I said this before. I'm a really sucker for this. For boss themes where it doesn't immediately give away what kind of boss you're fighting. It sounds good. That part sounds fucking amazing. In a normal list, it would be B if it would be just for, like, my liking of the song. Since we're judging the boss themes on like how good they are as a boss theme. I love this song, I think it's such an amazing song. But it does feel as a boss theme. That is a very kind C, it's a low fucking C for me. Boss theme 2, the one that runs at 70% HP, 40% HP and 10% HP. I fought this boss many times, I fought it violently. Oh, valiantly, I fought it. Yet he sometimes just ran past me. He's a fucking coward of a boss. So I wouldn't expect the most epic thing. It's not bad, but it's so average. This screams to me like average. It's a very, it's a, it's a B. I think an average song match is actually better for the boss because the boss doesn't want to kill you and you just want to kill the boss. So I can see that, but it is very average. It is a clear B for me. Not feeling it, but it matches the boss actually pretty well. Okay, ending three for IS4. Ooh, this is nice. This is nice. I like this. I like this a lot. I'd say it is a super good boss theme for the boss. Uh, that's the thing. I'd, it's a super good boss theme for the boss, but I'm not crazy vibing with the song itself. But as a boss theme, I think it succeeds because it's just like... You don't know what to expect for the boss, and even if you're fight it, fighting it, you don't know what to expect. It just works well for what it is. That's why I'd say it's probably my like at least like a song, but it's still like a really good song for the boss. This song I love. This song I vibe with. It's just a different kind of boss theme that I'm 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 loving. It's just I loved it. Playing the stage, the boss theme or the boss with that was so hype. It's like you're playing the stage first set of simple the boss spawns and then it's like it slaps those like the beat out and you're like wow nice usually like, it doesn't matter what kind of boss is on the stage but it matters like how well it matches the stage which the boss is on right you have to go into like if there if, if there's like a weak girl as the boss there shouldn't be like too epic music going on like deep deep things and stuff that wouldn't match well even though it would be a good boss theme it needs to match the boss and this matches the boss so well, and the stage is, and it's just like super hype to play it. It's, it's just a cool, it's just cool. Not, not everyone will agree with this, but for me it's an S. Zwillingsstürme. 
I actually don't know what to expect from this. This this one is an S. I can see that. We gotta listen to it longer. But yeah, it is an S. I, I think I remember the song. That's my favorite one. It's just a good, it's just good as a boss theme as well. And it matches the boss as well. It just matches also that it's a music event, right? You really feel like the song is made for an event that is uh, supposed to be themed a music event. And that is so good. Is it because it's classic? I like classic music sometimes. Easy. This is a very easy one for me to rank. So next one. We have the letter one. No letter one, no Harold one. Harold, and I really like this one a lot. First you you you, you know, oh I like first you see the stage right and you see the boss and you're like wait I know this dude and then like he starts to walk around and starts to hit you and he's gonna be like you know what fuck you and you just get obliterated. I saw a letter there and that's why I said letter. But like this is such a this is an S for me as well. Maybe I give away S's away too freely, but this is for me just how things should be. It's just like you don't expect the boss to be strong. But it is, but he is fucking strong. But that means we're going to the last song. I like this. I'll, it gives the perfect vibe for the boss. And that's important. It's it's such a mafia vibe. Right, so I, maybe it's not mafia, but like the way he looks, like it's just it just matches. It matches the boss, and that's important. And this is just a did we just get a triple back-to-back -back S? The thing, it is that good. It is that good. What a fire soundtrack. Maybe I gave away the S's way too easily. But, uh, you know, I, I, I agree with my t list here. I think I agree. Baddest boss theme, yes. We got 611 votes. We have 35 participants. This one is the, this one is the surf, yeah. I mean, all of the all of the S's are deserved in my opinion. Otherwise, I wouldn't have put them. I wouldn't have put them in S. So let's just see what you guys said. We have now all the votes. What do you guys think? What is? You put this here. It failed as a boss theme. It was a great soundtrack, right? I agree. It was a great soundtrack, but it failed as a boss theme, in my opinion. Uh, anything controversial? I mean, all in all, it looks pretty consistent. The Red King is a bit of a crime down here. Like, that's... I don't know if you're trolling or not. But you have this song, which is the same song as this song. How is one song in D and the other song, it's the same song in S? You know, that is a bit a bit random. That, uh, that is... <laughs> that is you know, you know, chat. Gotta agree, you fucked up there a bit. People love me. They just clicked. They saw the picture and they were like, Yeah, Mr. okay. Whoa. And then they saw... Sc but like, they also love Scotty. Why do they hate Sky? <laughs> like, like, that makes no sense. So, with that, I would say we have done the music or like boss theme tier list. Pretty cool soundtracks there were. Arc is some very cool soundtracks. There is a few that are maybe a little bit not that good. But all in all, I think Arc is mostly having amazing soundtracks for the boss themes. And with that, I would say we are going. To end the video, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, it probably was a bit of a longer one. I hope it was still in trouble for you and I hope I didn't waste your time. If you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe. That really helps out the channel a lot and helps me out a lot. Thank you so, so much for being here. You guys are amazing. And with that said, I would say, have a nice one. I don't know what I just said. What the fuck? <laughs> have a nice one. And thanks so much for watching. Have a nice one. And see ya.